My topic today is air quality and China's rejuvenation within the context of ecological civilization. Well, we all have a dream. We want things to be better. We want the world to be better. China's dream of rejuvenization is a better China, but also to have a better China, we need a much cleaner environment. My three key messages today is, first of all, the Chinese dream for rejuvenation includes cleaner environment and it must include better air. The good news is Chinese policies are moving in the right direction and they have been for a number of years. Of course, it's not enough just to have a dream. You need to be able to implement your dream, to know what to do. Again, the good news is China's attempt to clean the air has 20 years of solid experience. And the greatest experience is in the Pearl River Delta area, including Hong Kong and Macau. It is very important for us to know that our political leadership is committed to cleaning the environment. Here, we can find some comfort in the most recently held 19th Party Congress in China. This is what the top leader had to say. Any harm we inflict on nature will eventually return to haunt us. This is a reality we have to face. So it's important that we know our top leadership understands the nature of the problem. He also offered a number of observations about what China needs to do. China needs to cherish our environment as we cherish our own lives. China needs to develop new model of modernization with humans developing in harmony with nature. And we must get actively involved in global environmental governance. So how are we going to do better in China? The party's answer is how to speed up developing ecological civilization and build a beautiful China within a time frame. The time frame is from 2020 to 2035 and then the second phase will be achieved by 2050. There are essentially four aspects to achieving ecological civilization and a beautiful China. Firstly, we must work very hard to promote green development. Secondly, we have to solve the most important environmental problems. Thirdly, we must intensify protecting China's ecosystems. And lastly, we must reform environmental regulation as a total system. Now, we're in southern China. We're in Hong Kong, Macau, and the Pearl River Delta area. What the uh, leadership has provided is that the area now called Greater Bay Area actually has to play a leading role. We have a leading role because this is the first area to go on an active modernization path, starting in the 1980s. Of course, China has other very important development areas as well. We have the Yangtze River Economic Belt, which has 11 provinces around the Yangtze River. And also up in the north, the Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei area is going to come into an integration that creates a very large metropolis. So the role that the Greater Bay Area and the Pearl River Delta area has to play in China is as a leader to go forth faster to achieve modernization. Now, the Greater Bay Area has a number of uh, experience that I think are very important. We've embarked on a good air quality management for the last 20 years. So we now have a very solid regional air monitoring network that is really one of the best in China, if not the best. We've also got something that Hong Kong started called the Cleaner Production Partnership Program, which is Hong Kong funding uh, cleanups uh, on clean technology for production across the border in Guangdong. Other regions can think about doing that as well upstream. So the downstream that has had the economic benefit can think about investing in cleaner production upstream. More recently, the shipping sector, the shipping companies have also come together to create a voluntary charter called the Fairwinds Charter to clean up shipping emissions. 
Now, we need people to actually work on this, and the expertise that has been gathered over the last 20 years working in southern China, I would like to give them a special name. This group of people who come from the south, also from other parts in China, including people working outside China, I would like to call them the air quality policy and management community, because actually they are an identify, identifiable community. So I think the knowledge that they have gained over the years, they can speed up China's attempt to clean up air quality by working together and taking their expertise to other areas in China, such as the Yangtze River area, as well as further up north. Finally, I would like to make a number of recommendations. Well, first of all, in this particular gathering, I think many of you will come up with great ideas on what to do. I hope you will think about how the Greater Bay Area can come up with a new cleaner air plan that will stretch towards 2025 and 2030. Now, let me just offer a number of ideas. Firstly, we should standardize regional air quality guidelines and emission standards. We should look at upgrading regional and city air monitoring of pollutants and precursors. We should develop regional emissions inventory, and we should set up regional air pollution forecasting system. We should also look at developing regional air pollution reduction roadmap with timelines. And lastly, we must deal with ozone, which remains a very major problem. And we should look at how to do that actually even beyond Guangdong. Now, my second set of recommendations have to do with innovation and collaboration within the Greater Bay Area. China already has a policy to implement domestic emissions control area by 2019. One other idea we can look at is in the Greater Bay Area, whether we can start a Green Ferries regional plan. This will really help to clean up not just the big ships, but also smaller vessels. We must continue to push on regional land transportation, which a lot of work is being done. And we must step up cleaner production. Can we do even more to clean up production units in the Greater Bay Area? And lastly, of course, we should use Hong Kong to raise green financing since Hong Kong is the international fundraising center for China. Well, lastly, I want to wish you a great success on RAQM5 in Guangzhou. Thank you very much.